meetings are an essential part of all business transactions. None of us can escape them in our day-to-day -day life. Meetings are essential for enabling collaboration, creativity and innovation. They help foster relationships and ensure proper information exchange. So, it is important that we make the best use of the time invested in meetings. With the world becoming a global village and remote teams becoming more of a norm than an exception, conducting virtual meetings is the need of the hour. In this module, we will look at the effective ways to conduct or attend virtual meetings to make the best use of our time. One way of ensuring that meetings are productive and effective is by following some basic etiquette. Business etiquette is simply a means of maximizing your business potential by presenting yourself favorably. It also improves your chance of success. This becomes even more critical in virtual meetings where we do not have a lot of advantages which an in-person meeting provides. Let's first look at what are virtual meetings. A virtual meeting is when people around the world, regardless of their location, use video or audio to link up or connect online. Virtual meetings allow people to share information and data in real time without being physically located together. Virtual meetings can be more valuable than traditional face-to-face -face meetings if managed effectively. Now let us look at how to make the best of the virtual platform for meetings. The meeting can be over a conference call, audio or video, depending on the requirement of the meeting. The below steps are vital for any meeting and most important for virtual calling, both audio and video based. Let's look at the points to be considered before the meeting. If you are the organizer, send out the invite with the agenda for the meeting with clearly defined timelines when required. Also include relevant documents for the discussion. If you are an attendee, ensure that you respond to the invite. This will help the organizers plan better. Also, go through any documents or pre-reads before the call to save time during the call. Points to be considered during the meeting. 1. Start with a greeting. 2. Do a roll call to ensure that all the participants who have been invited are on the call. Introduce new participants if any, and also the reason for their presence on the call. 3. Quickly iterate agenda. Always keep the meeting focused on one or two objectives. 4. Set expectations and start the discussion. 5. Do summarize all the action items to ensure all the participants are on the same page. 6. Thank people for joining the call and close it. Points to be considered after the meeting. Send out an MOM with clear points of discussion, ownership of activities, and timelines. Video call or conferencing requires greater care as you are visible to all the participants. We should take all the care that we do in in-person meetings and audio conference calls and much more. Let us look at the points that we need to keep in mind when getting into a video call. Before a video call, ensure that you are properly attired and groomed for the meeting. Avoid bright colors, flashy jewelry, and dresses. Ensure there is enough light and sit in a position where the light is in front of you and not behind you. Don't sit too close or too far from the camera. Maintain a distance of an arm's length. Set expectations with the family and ensure that there is no disturbance and noise in the background. During a video call, ensure to log in 5 minutes early and check your camera, mic, headphones and speakers. Turn on your camera and check the angle to ensure that people on the other side see you clearly. Maintain proper posture and body language during the meeting. Be subtle and controlled in your gestures, too much of movement is distracting. Look at the camera while speaking. Ensure that you mute yourself when others are talking. Do not interrupt. Wait for your chance to speak. You can raise your hand to indicate that you have a point to make. Be disciplined and focus on the meeting and do not multitask. End the call, thanking everyone for their time. Ensure you have logged off from the call before you get into other tasks. To conclude, as Patrick Lencioni said, the majority of meetings should be discussions that lead to decisions. So, let's make our meetings decisive 
and more effective and productive by following some basic etiquette. Thank you.